All right, I have some good news and some bad news for you. So let's cover the good news first. This paper was released just two days ago, and this is a complete game changer. So it's called Emo Emote Portrait Alive. It basically takes a still image and you can add in any audio, whether it's talking, speaking, or singing, and it can animate that still image super realistically. So instead of me just talking, let me show you a few of their demo videos on this. So here's the woman from OpenAI's Sora demo video. They're just inputting a still image and look what it can do. All right, here's another one. Here's an AI image of Mona Lisa. And here's just the still image. This is all we give it. And look how it can animate this woman. We were good, we were good. Can the dream they can be so? We were right till we were. Build a home and watch deeper. You can see her head movements are very fluid. It's not just fixed in one position the whole time like you see with previous AI-generated avatars. She moves her head all over the place, her eyes can blink, she has different emotions. This is super realistic and fluid. It works in different languages as well, so here's a random image generated by Stable Diffusion. Let's see if she can sing in Chinese. That is so good. Like in Chinese and some other languages, there are certain consonants that are really hard to capture the mouth movements of. But you can see it animates her really well according to the Chinese syllables. Plus, again, she's moving her head all over the place. Her eyes are blinking. Her face is very fluid and realistic. It also works with anime. So let's look at this example. <laughs> Right, it's really good. And it doesn't just have to be slow songs as well. So you can make this photo of Leonardo DiCaprio rap really fast. So let's check it out. An AA with an AK melee finna set it like a play date, but a vacate retreat like a vacate mayday. This beat is cray cray ray J H A H A H A laughing all the way to the bank. I spray flames that cannot tame or placate the monster. You get in my way, I'ma feed you to the monster. Normal during the day, but at night turn to a monster. When the moon shines like ice road truckers, I look like a villain out of those blockbusters. Godzilla fire, monster blood on the dance from the Louis V carpet. Fire, Godzilla fire. Again, just super realistic. I can't really point out any flaws in this. It's just so good. All right, here's another one. 
Fab, I'ma kill you. <laughs> Lyrics coming at you with supersonic speed. JJ Fab. Uh, summer, I'ma do my lemma. You assume I'm a human. What I gotta do to get it through to you? I'm superhuman, innovative, and I made a rubble. So that anything you say is speaking, shaking off of me and a new movie. Uh, you were devastating, more than ever demonstrating how to give a motherfucking audience a feeling like it's levitating, never fading. And I know the haters are forever waiting for the day that they can say I fell off. They'll be celebrating, cause I know the way to get them motivated. I make elevating music. You make elevator music. Oh, he's too mainstream. Well, that's what they do when they get jealous, they confuse it. It's not hip hop, it's pop. Cause I found a hell of a way to fuse it. So it doesn't matter if the dude's rapping super quickly. It can match the mouth movements almost perfectly. Here are some examples of talking audio. When I was a kid, I feel like you heard the thing, you heard the term, don't cry. You don't need to cry. Crying is the most beautiful thing you can do. I encourage people to cry. I cry all the time. And I think it's the most healthy expression of how you're feeling. And I, I sometimes wish I just could have been told, you can cry. There's no shame in that. There's no shame in how you're feeling. And also, you don't need to always be justifying it. Because I think I was constantly trying to come up with reasons why, rather than just being accepted for what it was. And here's another example with Mona Lisa. <clears throat> yes. One. And in this manner, he was to imagine me his love, his mistress, and I set him every day to woo me, at which time would I, being but a moonish youth, grieve, be effeminate, changeable, longing and liking, proud, fantastical, apache, shallow. And Very good. You can see, like, at some points in the video, this part here is not really consistent, so you can see like when she moves away, there's still like the edge over here, even though the veil is now over here. So just some small flaws in this one. But again, it's really hard to animate an oil painting like this, especially where her hair and the veil is quite blurry and obscure. And the AI kind of needs to learn what exactly is this and should it animate this or is it part of the background? So it's a really hard task to do. Overall, it still executes this very well. And again, here is an anime image talking. So you can see how powerful this technology is. I think anyone right now can make their own anime in their room. Right, all you need to do is generate an image in Stable Diffusion, generate a script with a chatbot like ChatGPT or Mistral, and then plug it into this tool to animate these anime characters talking. And that's all you need to do. I think the only thing missing are like action scenes, which AI video generators cannot do as well right now yet. But I mean, OpenAI just released Sora, so it's definitely coming soon. Everything you need to do to make a full anime or a full movie, we're almost there. We have all we need to make a full anime or a full movie or a full TV show with no actors, no motion capture technologies, no cameras or anything like that. We can just generate everything with AI. So, I mean, this is super exciting times. Maybe not so exciting for, you know, the Hollywood industry. Their, their jobs are going to be replaced pretty damn soon. But for the rest of us, it is super exciting, at least to me. You want to know how I got these scars? My father was a drinker and a fiend. And one night, he goes off crazier than usual. Mommy gets the kitchen knife to defend herself. He doesn't like that. Not one bit. So, me watching, he takes the knife to her, laughing while he does it. He turns to me, and he says... Why so serious? He comes at me with the knife. Why so serious? He sticks the blade in my mouth. Let's put a smile on that face. And... Why so serious? You can see here, even the face paint tracks very well. Like, when the skin moves... Here, the, this bottom portion of the face paint also moves with the skin. So everything is super coherent. Same with like these sections. When the mouth moves, these also move very realistically. 
Here's another example of this person generated in Stable Diffusion, and here they are feeding it different monologues. You can help me win this presidency, or you can pack your things and leave. There's the door. Oh my God, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Vintage. So adorable. Oh my God, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Vintage. So adorable. I am outraged by this. I'm absolutely disgusted. <laughs> and I mean, with this technology, again, I think actors are going to be very scared of losing their jobs because with AI, you can generate a beautiful girl that's a beautiful model and you, you can just feed it this voiceover and you can get her to act in any scene you want. So, you know, what's the use of actors then? Will this eventually replace actors? Who knows? I mean, this is just the beginning. This is the worst we'll see of this technology. Eventually, this would be so good that it can handle any emotion and we can customize it however we want and it would look super realistic. So here's their GitHub page, which I'll link to in the description below. This is done by a team of researchers at the Institute of Intelligent Computing at Alibaba. There's also this archive link, which goes into more details on how they trained the model. Digging into the details, how did they actually train this? How did they get this to work? So it says here they used diffusion models, similar to what Stable Diffusion uses, as you can see here. Now, just this diffusion step is not enough because as we've seen with previous AI-generated videos and avatar videos, it can be very jittery and inconsistent, and the frames aren't really coherent. So how they solved this was they incorporated stable control mechanisms into their model, namely a speed controller and a face region controller to enhance stability, as you can see over here. And furthermore, to ensure the character is consistent with the input image, they also designed a module called frame encoding, which preserves the character's identity across the video. And then to train the model, they had a huge data set consisting of over 250 hours of footage and more than 150 million images. And they made sure this data set encompasses a wide range of content, including speeches, film, television clips, singing performances, and that it covers multiple languages, such as Chinese and English. This makes sure it minimizes bias in the AI and the AI can cover a wide range of human expressions and vocal style. All right, so in a nutshell, that's how they designed and trained this AI. Now, remember I said at the beginning, I have good news and bad news for you. So the bad news is you can't actually use this yet. It's not released to the public. I tried going to their GitHub, but there's no code or anything that you can clone and run locally on your computer. So this is behind closed doors, and I assume it's going to be regulated in some way to prevent unethical usage. You can imagine how dangerous this could get for, let's say, fabricating evidence. So I could just take a photo of you and make you say, I killed this person, and then use this as evidence in court to frame you for killing someone. And of course, there's all these implications about how this can affect Hollywood and the industry of filmmaking. But, you know, just be aware that this technology already exists, and this is going to be the worst we will ever see moving forward. It's only going to get better and more realistic and more coherent with time. So super exciting time to be alive. If you enjoyed this content, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Also, we built a site where you can easily find AI tools and apps, as well as look for jobs in AI, machine learning, and more. Check it out at ai-search.io.